Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. Name and badge number, please. Can you can you articulate it, please? I don't know I, how to read. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you, can you know? This clip is brought to us by Midwest Community News. Their link will be down in the description. Subscribe to their channel and show them support by checking out their videos. The clip starts off at the Naperville, Illinois City Hall. An employee at the hall refuses to serve the man recording and then calls the cops on him. One of the cops hesitates to identify themselves and then they make things even worse when they refuse to give the man the call number. They simply just don't care to give the man the number as they say they do have access to it now. Watch the full clip to see the officers not caring about the man's requests. Naperville, Illinois City Hall, and we are about to go in and peacefully record and look around and see if they respect our rights to record in public. Excuse me? Do I need to? I would, I, want, I would like to access some of those business cards that are there for the public, please. Can I have... I can wait here. No, that, I'm, I'm okay. Can I have one of each of those business cards, please? No, I'm okay right here. Thank you. Why is that? This is a public building. I, I just would like to access one of each of those business cards, please. Okay. And, and I would also like to, if I have to file a request for this, I, w I, I will, but I would like that uh, um, the secretary's name or whoever the name is so I can file a formal complaint, please. Yeah, and then I'll, and city manager should be this way. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I, yeah, I just, uh, I, would, I need her name so I can file a complaint, please. Okay. I need her name so I can file a complaint for what for she called the police on me. Well, we don't know if it's her. It, it, it was her, ma'am. Well, no, I mean, why, why else are the police here? Have a good one. Name and badge number, please. Can you, can you articulate it, please? I don't know I, how to read. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you, to your no, no, failure to identify, can I get your name and badge number, sir? Jurisdict 10245. Uh, ma'am, oh, one more time. Here. It doesn't matter. One more time. Yeah, Aubrey one zero zero five nine. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you for that look of disdain. Have a good day. Next time, just say it the first time. Yeah. Excuse me. Can I get the CAD number, please? What? The computer aided dispatch number. The call number. You guys got calls here, yeah? Can alarm, I, yeah. So she didn't make a 911 call? No, no we came here for So an there was no computer aided dispatch? There's no call number? For an alarm. Yeah, for can I get that number? You can FOIA it. You can FOIA it. But you guys have it. You guys could be nice and just give it to me. You guys, you guys could look in the computer real quick and look better than what you already have. No, you guys don't have, do you, do you not have access to it right now? I do have access. Can I have it? Can I have it, please? No, nope, you can FOIA it. Wow, nope, I can FOIA it. That's, that's, yeah. Same with you. I'm going to need the FOIA. You guys have access to it and you won't give it to me. Can I get that? Can I get that number, sir? Tyrant. Tyrant. Why is it that these workers see a camera and instantly start to act differently and treat you like you have committed some serious crime when what you are doing is perfectly legal? And of course, they end up always calling the cops. The cops who turned up well, one of them anyway, the female cop started off weirdly by refusing to say her badge number and walking away. Luckily, she eventually ended up articulating it. If you have access to something right now, why wouldn't you give it to someone if they request it? It just shows that these two cops don't care about this man one bit. This clip is brought to us by Texas 2A attorney CJ Grisham. Be sure to check out their channel, and while you're there, subscribe to them. Their channel will be linked down in the description. The clip starts off with a man getting the cops called on him for open carrying in a public tax-funded park. 
This is perfectly legal. The cops understand this and therefore don't infringe on the man's rights. However, they use the classic line of, in this day and age, strategy to justify the call. It's crazy how people are still calling the police over matters like this when they don't know the law. Evening, officer. I trust they, they, told, they called you on the non-emergency number at least. Okay, well, I told them to use a non-emergency number. I always had a guy kind of flipping out in the usual progressive way that somebody here was exercising their Second Amendment rights. He, he wasn't aware that it was legal to carry with a permit in a park like this. You're doing this just to... Oh, uh, all right, just... Uh, I mean, you got your GoPro on, you got your phone. Yeah, you, we're here to film the events and... Uh, channel or anything like that? Actually, sure. I'll actually be nice and give you a card to it. Sure. That way you can put it in your report. It's not going to be a report. Okay. If you don't think there needs to be, then that's your prerogative. What report would you think we should take? <laughs> nothing that I'm concerned about. Well, nothing that I would think of. It's just I know sometimes y'all like to have uh, reports for productivity uh, just to pass up to the chain to show that you're a good officer. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't call y'all here, though. Yeah. You're right. Somebody called us, and obviously so we, 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 we can call the police when we respond. That this day and age... With all these active going on, y'all are in the park. We know what y'all are doing. A lot of people don't understand the laws, but it's a cause for concern. There's people oh. up here with kids. No one knows what your mental state is. No one knows what your plan is. Okay, y'all understand that, right? All right, which is for us worth why I'm not don't have a rifle or anything like right. that. But absolutely no problem with you doing what you're doing. Right. But you're doing this to, to do exactly what you're doing. And you and I both know that, okay? You're, you're trying I know, to sir. This is not an audit. This is just me here because we were, uh, one of our friends who's filming the event was concerned it might not go well for him. Let us finish, and then we'll come talk to you. Do what you're doing, and, and let it be. If they antagonize you, then call us, and we'll help, try to help you. If not, we're just going to stand here and make sure the peace is kept. Absolutely, sir. And what is your non-emergency number if we do have an issue? I'll give you a card. Thank you. It's just this day and age with everything that happens in this country, mm -hmm. you never, I mean, who's to say that you you were like, hey, I'm going to walk into this park ah, and because, pretend like I'm here for a Well, if you want reason. the answer that, because I'm open carrying. Yes. If you look at the psyche of those who are actually criminally deranged, they like to keep everything hidden until they go full yeah. psycho because it gives the biggest shock value. We just, we're very stringent on the only thing, which is that you honor your oath at all times, which you are doing an excellent job of. You disagree with me personally, but you're lying with my rights, and that's going to look very, and I, I will do everything I can to make sure I convey that to people on social media, that Webster is a professional. You don't, you don't like carrying it concealed? You like putting it out there like that? Uh, correct. Uh, for the same reason you all do. Sure. Right. Yes, sir. And I, just other than I appreciate prof your professionalism, that you're honoring your oath even though you disagree with me personally. Right, so you have a great night, sir. At least there's one positive to take away from this that the cops didn't infringe on the man's rights. But apart from that, it really wasn't great. How can you say in this day and age to try and justify the call? Is it illegal or not? That should be the way to judge it. How can you try and justify something when it is perfectly legal? I can't believe that people are still calling the cops for matters like this when they don't know the law. In the end, as well, the man recognized the cops' professionalism, but not the fact that they disagreed with him. That's why I can't do it. It's public. Uh, no, you, I'm asking you to leave the building for the You day. can ask. I am asking I'm it. And you can next call. We'll be this video is brought to us by Fly Guy. As always, make sure you guys check out their channel and subscribe to them. Their link will be down in the description. The video begins at the Eugene Public Library. The employees of the library try to illegally trespass the man because he is recording. Another example of people believing that other people's emotions and feelings on top of the library's code of conduct are more important than the Constitution of the United States. They call the cops on the man, but surprisingly, the cops aren't too bothered with this situation. Watch the full clip to see what they say about it. Library. I'm gonna go in here and see if they respect our First Amendment right to record in public. Hey, dude, this man, no, this man is recording not. people up here. I don't know who he is. I want to stop. Library. You need to leave the building. That's why I can't do it. It's public. 
Uh, no. You, I'm asking you to leave the building for You can day. ask. I am asking I'm it. And you can next call. we'll be calling security. And Go ahead. We'll be calling the police. Basically. It's public. What's your name? What's your name, Mo? You work for the public? Thank you. What is your name? Hi. This is public. It is, but some folks are feeling kind of squibbly about it. Right. So I'm sorry. Right. I'm I'm not breaking the law. If you'd like to, so our code of conduct does have if people. That's policy. I'm following the law. Okay. Do you want to come talk to us about it downstairs? No, thank you. Okay. I'm fine right here. Well, I'm asking you to leave for the day then. Okay. And I'm kindly refusing. Okay. So. Did I do anything to break the law? So right now, we can point you to our code of conduct. It's right here. You can come see it. That's the policy. What's your name? Hi, my name's Angela. It's nice to meet you. And this is a public library, right? It is. So, okay, so, so this I'm engaged has, in public for, for photography. So if you make people uncomfortable, which... Am I in charge of their comfortability? So we try to make this a safe, comfortable environment for everyone. We do. Am I being unsafe? You're making You're people making uncomfortable. People unsafe. Yep. What does that have to do with me? So What's your name? I'm Kate. I'm an adult services supervisor. And who's the lady that told me to stop recording? So, What's her name? My name is Angela, and that's who we're talking to right now. Who's the lady that told me to stop recording? I don't know. I don't know who you were talking to. I don't have You can to call the cops. Okay. We can do that for you if you'd like. Absolutely. I will say that there is... There's a no expectation of privacy in public. There is a code of conduct. No expectation of privacy in public. Okay. Can I do a public records request, please? So right now you're being asked to leave in violation of our code of conduct. Right, I have business here. So unfortunately you're being asked to leave because of our code of conduct. Oh, thank you. Kate. I have business here. So unfortunately you're being asked to leave in violation of our code of conduct. I have business here, ma'am. I would be more than happy to engage with you. Mm -hmm. If you would stop making people feel uncomfortable, we can provide a safe environment. By doing? By recording them. I'm allowed to record in here. You are not allowed to make people feel uncomfortable, though. I'm not in charge of their comfortability. I'm sorry that you feel that way. We want to make this a safe environment for everybody. To I'm sorry that you feel that way. I understand that. Um, you can reach me. Hold on one second. Let them know that I'm engaged in constitutionally protected activity. Um, woman who is unfortunately not listening to our code of conduct and is making patrons and staff uncomfortable. Um, do I not? Do I not? Am I not able to? Record in public? Not inside the building. If this is a public library, right? Space. But this is a public library, right? In the library, we have additional rules. Is there any, is there any privacy in, in public? In the library, what you have is that we're not going to interrupt one person's use over. I didn't say anything to anyone. But if it, it causes people distress and concern, that interrupts the use. This is constitutionally protected activity. Inside the library, there's additional rules, there are administrative orders. From and the those rules, they trump over the, the Constitution? In this case, they do apply. You yes. think so? They do. You're a public servant, right? Yes. What's your name? My name is Lavina. What's your, what's your job duty? I work here at the library. I'm one of the managers here What's at the your library. position? You're, you're a manager? Your experience manager. Mm -hmm. What's your name, sir? Well, I think you're going to talk to me right now. He's here just um, What's your name, sir? Learn. So I want you to talk to me. His name is David, but I'd like you to talk to me, please. And I think they've explained to you that we need you to leave. On the sidewalk? Yeah, because we've asked and explained that you need to leave. You can go way. out if you want. I'm asking you and explaining I'm to you kindly that refusing. we need you to leave. When Respectfully, there is no expectation of privacy in public. Also, I'm not in charge of nobody else's feelings. When, you, when you, we've explained to you that you need to leave and you don't, it becomes trespass. You can't just trespass me from a public building. We can because of the city. What's the crime? Order. You're, you're not following our instructions. That's not a crime. There is a city administrative order. That's a policy. That we've explained that you're trespassing. Is it law? Yes, it's binding and legal. Well, a Supreme Court ruled that I can record in public. So you've reached the point at the library here mm -hmm. where you can choose it to sound like your cops or wait for the police to come because we've trespassed you. You can't trespass me without a crime, Mel. No. That's a secondary. Trespassing is a tort that leads to a crime. What I know is we've called the police and they're gonna be coming to support us. We gotta wait for the police and everything. And I'm on a real tight schedule. Um, you guys call it law enforcement? We did. And I wish you'd leave did they convey? 
Right, yeah, I don't want to waste resources. You guys are wasting resources calling law enforcement. You would just leave, which is what I wish. Mm -hmm. Before we got to that point. Right, yeah, I just, I wish to conduct my business. And I'll, I'll be gone. You've done everything that we're going to make available to you today. Right, but did you guys call in law enforcement? Yes. Are they on their way? Yes. Okay, so I, unfortunately I have to stay. When you come back into the building, we can have that conversation. Unfortunately, today we've asked you to leave. So I'm not trespassed? You are definitely trespassed. So then why did you say you when I come back in the building? Per the code of conduct for your behavior today, they felt uncomfortable with you reporting them. So is filming not allowed? They felt uncomfortable that somebody was staring at them through the windows, that somebody was staring at them across the computer. It's called plain view doctrine. I can see whatever. And I can film whatever I can I can see from public. Okay. Right. If it's true, then why are you hassling right. me? I am agreeing that that's what you think. Ma'am, uh, one more time. You did call law enforcement they to did. come and remove me? Yes, they have other things they're dealing with. Oh, so they're not coming? They, they if they're not coming, I can kindly leave. I don't know when or if. I can tell you that we did call them, but they told they have other more urgent things to deal with. And then the, before they get so this there. is an urgent. For There's no emergency time. going on here. But there is a disruption. And There's a, a disruption. Okay. We're going to have to come back a second time until they get it. I can't imagine how much time of the cops have been wasted by these workers if they think that their code of conduct and the people's feelings inside of the library matter more than the Constitution of the United States. According to this female manager at the library, their conduct does apply over the Constitution here. Interesting. And then she tried to trespass him because he wasn't following her instructions. Sounds like someone trying to abuse the little power they have to me. Thankfully, the cops tell them that they have more important things to deal with, basically telling the workers that the reason they called is stupid. Why yeah. can you record inside? Whatever I can see, I can record. No, no, you cannot record inside. Yeah, I can. Who? Who are you? What do you think you are? Are you serious? Yeah. The, the, the police are going to come and tell you. This video is brought to us by Canyon City Press. Make sure you guys check out their channel. It will be linked down in the description. The video begins with a man filming numerous businesses from the public sidewalk. The business owners seem to not be a fan of him filming and decide to talk to him, which gets them nowhere. And all that ends up happening is the man has to educate the business owners about the First Amendment. Let's hope they learned a thing or two about not only the First Amendment, but stupidly calling the cops. Watch the full clip to see all the business owners confront the man recording. How's it going, man? Huh? Who are you taking pictures of the paper? For who? Your, your pictures. Uh huh. Who are you taking them for? I, I can't really get into it. This is going to compromise the. It's an investigation. So I can't really get into it too much. Sorry. So this case of uh huh. What was your name? No. I can't get into that either. That's good. Okay. <laughs> But you work here, right? Maybe. Okay. I need you to move on, right? I'm not going to ask you again nicely. From the public side of it? Yeah, but you're filming inside my building. I yeah. don't know what you're filming. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with filming? You can't film inside my office. I'm not of course they can. Well, you can. From a public sidewalk, I can. I don't care. It's private. There's private property in there as well. Well, then you should probably hide it. Okay. I'm in a public sidewalk, sir. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being violent with you. I'm not either. Do you think I'm being violent? I'm asking you to move on. And I'm, I, I'm saying no. It's very simple. It's a public sidewalk. You can't control people on the sidewalk, sir. Once I go in there, sure, I can do certain things. Whatever you want me. You could kick me out. I'm not, just stop. I don't know what it is you're doing. Just stop. I already told you what I'm doing. What you doing? How's it going? What you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Just taking pictures. You recording? Recording and pictures, yeah. Why? Right. I, I can't really get into it. You haven't asked me for permission. Well, I don't need permission. Sir. I'm not. I'm not in your store. You I'm just. You do it inside. You can. You record inside, right? Yeah, but from public. I don't know. Yeah. You, you record inside in my but store. From public, it's allowed though. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. You're only out here, but you cannot do in here. Yeah, I can. I could record. I, I could look all in there and take pictures all no, I want. No, you cannot. Yeah, I can. We don't know. We cannot let you allow. I don't let you do that. 
Okay. I'm letting you know, sir. I don't need your permission. Yeah, we don't. We don't want Okay. I don't need your permission. Stay right here? Yeah, I call the police. What? It's not illegal. It's not illegal, sir. They're going to tell you the same thing. You cannot do it like that. You have to ask me. If you don't ask me, it's okay. No, I can't do it inside. I'm, I'm out here. Look. Oh. He thinks it's illegal to take pictures. He's recording everything in here. He said it's legal to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just got a call. No, weird. Yeah. Was doing this uh, just to do it? Is it for the city or something? Can't really can't get into it. Okay. So, whatever. I mean, we can't really stop him, but... Uh, I mean, it's. Yeah. I guess we'll just ask them. Then why do you have windows, sir? If you don't want people taking pictures, well, they could look you inside. Have to ask me because you recorded in here. Do people have to ask just to look? If they, no, if, then they look with okay. Looking at the pictures is the same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say one thing. You're just, you're just causing a distraction here. So you better move on. How am I causing a distraction? Because you got every business owner out here complaining. I haven't said a word to them. They came up to me, right? You guys came up to me? Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I haven't said a word to anyone. You, you guys are just unaware that it's allowed. I'm trying to, that's what I come to do. I educate people also. If you guys don't know, I'm telling you right now. You guys just don't want to hear it. No, you don't. Why did you say no? No what? I don't have to ask you. Why? Why you don't have Because I'm in public. I'm in public. You don't record outside. Why do yeah. you record inside? Whatever I can see, I can record. No, no, you cannot record inside. Yeah, I can. Who? Who are you? What do you think you are? Are you serious? Yeah. The 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 police are gonna come and tell you exactly what I'm telling you. Okay. Okay. Wait okay. for Alright. I guess. No one feel comfortable because you do all that. All That's not my problem, sir. I can't control how people, what what comfort levels people feel at any Would moment. You stop, please. Can you take off your shoes? Why? Because I want you to. Yeah. See how that works? I, you don't have to just because I ask you. You learned a lot today, huh? You found yeah. out. You found out you can't do anything, huh? Kid, I've known more than you will ever know, son. Oh, that sounds very ignorant. What they're doing is very ignorant. If there was a purpose behind it, if you could. Yeah, there is a purpose behind it, sir. I already told you. I just didn't tell you. Just because I didn't tell you doesn't mean there's no purpose. It's. I do that. I've done that with all of them. It's not yeah, just you. Just so yeah. Well, that's. You guys have windows for a reason. That's not my fault. I just. There's windows for a reason. People can. People can come and look at you. It's not on me. I don't. I can't control what they say or don't say. So. I mean, I guess you find pleasure in making women Sure. If you want to continue saying what I th what my intentions are. I don't know what your intentions. Exactly. Exactly. That's the point. Yeah, because you're trying to make us feel uncomfortable. Oh, look. There you go. You saying? Okay. You're welcome. Continue working, please. This is pretty worrying. Getting this many confrontations from the business owners from just recording from a public sidewalk. I wonder what percentage of business he recorded. The owners actually came out, but the fact that this many aren't informed on the First Amendment correctly is bad that one even called the cops and got quite hostile with the man. All we can hope is that these business owners can learn a thing or two from what this man said to them when they came out to tell him to not record. The man is literally on a public sidewalk, and if you don't want people to be able to see into the building, maybe don't have a glass wall at the front visible to the public. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.